Hi everyone, this is Izzy at Minerva. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to use our skirt block to create a go day feature within our skirt. This is a beautiful feature that just adds loads of extra volume to the bottom of a skirt, um, and it can also be used in other areas of garments as well. So a fantastic technique. Let's go straight into it. In order to create our Godet skirt, we need to start off with our skirt block and then make that, adapt that so that it creates a panel skirt to start off with. Once we've got our panel skirt pieces, we can then add the Godet feature into those panels, which is a great way of just adding loads of volume. So if you're not sure how to create a panel skirt from your skirt block, I'd really recommend referring back to part five in our video series because that is a really detailed um, description and demonstration all about how to create a panel skirt. I will in this video just show you really quickly how to do that, but if you want some more detailed instructions, go back to uh, part five and have a look at that there. Then I'm going to talk you through how to add the Godet and how to design that feature into your skirt and then we'll show you how to sew it up and how to sew it really accurately so you get a really nice uh, fit and drape on your skirt. Let's get into it. In this video I will be using uh, my skirt block which I've drawn up on the computer, it's printed off here just so that you can see it really nice and clearly. You, however, will have traced over your own skirt block so you'll probably have a piece of tracing paper on the table in front of you at this point. To start off with, we're just going to divide the width of the skirt front by three equal parts and just mark that along your hip line. Draw a perpendicular line from the hem all the way up to the waist so that you're just dividing that skirt piece nicely along this point here. Repeat the process on the skirt back. So measure out the width of the skirt at the widest point and just below the hips and divide that by three. Take that measurement from the centre back and then just square it up from the hemline. At this point we're just going to move the darts along the waistline on both the front and the back so the darts are located along the, um, the new panel line that we've just drawn. Measure the width of your dart on your skirt front and we want to transfer that dart across onto this line. Measure the length of your dart and transfer that line onto your new panel line. And then just draw in your new dart. Now everybody's dart size and width and length will be different based on your own skirt block. So if yours doesn't look quite the same as mine, that's absolutely fine. Just remember to cross off the darts at this point here because we've moved it over there. We don't want two darts on our skirt front, we just want the one. On the skirt back, we're just going to shift this dart across uh, and we'll leave this one in. So measure off the distance of this dart, the width of this dart, and just transfer that width onto this line. Check the length and transfer that onto the new panel line and then draw in your new dart. You should be using a nice sharp pencil to get this as accurate as possible. We're just using a bright red pen so that you can see it clearly for the purpose of this demo. At this point, we've now got our basic skirt panel uh, design drawn up, which is great. We then need to decide where we're going to add the Godet feature into the skirts. So we're going to be adding those Godet features into the side and the panels as they come down the front of the skirt and also at the back. So in total, we're going to have um, six Godet features in total. At this point, you need to make a design decision in terms of where along the length of that skirt you want your godet to start. Obviously, it's going to finish down at the hem, but where does it start? Now, depending on where you start and finish, it will have a really big impact on the design of the skirt. If you just do the godet sort of the bottom, like a couple of inches, you're just going to have like a little kick flare at the bottom. If you start the godet, you know, almost practically up by the dart line, that's going to have, give you much more volume all the way sort of from above the hips. Uh, straight out to the hem and if you start it at the hip line obviously you're going to have a smooth finish around waist to hips and then suddenly it's going to flare out so you decide which point you want to do um, and where you want that design feature to sit. 
maybe have a little look on Google, go on Pinterest, get some images of um, some inspiration of other skirts that you've seen and you like, uh, and just look at that and then decide how you want to draft your own skirt. For me, I'm gonna start my Godet features at um, 30 centimeters from my knee line. So I'm going to mark a point on each of the panels at 30 centimeters. I'm going to also mark it on my pattern drafted piece here at the side seam. And because my skirt front and skirt back are laid out on the table parallel to each other, I can just very simply transfer that line marking across to here and onto that at that point. Perfect. So these points here will now become the tops of our Godet features. Once you've got to that point, you can then cut out your pattern pieces and then we'll look at how to create the Godet feature additional piece. Don't forget that we will be cutting out the darts because we've created a really nice seam so that we can remove the volume of the dart at this point. Excellent, so we've cut out our four pattern pieces for our skirt. We're going to just remove those darts completely from the pattern. We no longer need those because when we sew up the seams, they'll just be absorbed into the seam. That extra volume will be nicely removed. We're now going to move on and talk you through how to create that Godet feature. Go and grab another piece of paper so that you can create your new pattern piece. Now, we know that our Godet feature from our knee line up to here was 30 centimeters in total. If we want to add another piece of fabric in here, in the length of that new piece needs to be 30 centimeters. So on your new piece of paper, I want you to draw a line in the middle of the sheet of paper, which is 30 centimeters long. So grab your pattern drafting ruler and draw a line that is 30 centimeters long or whatever length your Godet feature is. Draw that in the middle of the sheet. Next, you want to decide how wide your Godet feature is going to be. So the wider the Godet feature, the more volume you're going to be adding into your skirt. So this design decision has quite a lot of impact in terms of the visual aesthetics of how this skirt is going to look. So for my Godet feature, I'm just going to offset from my center line 14 centimeters to either side. So draw that on whatever width you want it to be and just draw a line at those points. So that's my 14 centimeters offset from the center. Now, we know that our Godet feature, we're gonna be drawing a nice uh, triangle effectively at this point. We know that the side seams here are going to have to attach into there. So our length of our side of our Godet feature needs to be the same as our length that we're adding in at this point. So for me, it's 30 centimeters. For you, it may well be something different. So grab your pattern drafting ruler and align the point at the top of the Godet feature. And for me, I'm just going to make sure that the ruler is aligning at 30 centimeters where it hits this new line that I've just drawn. So you do the same for yours and just draw that in nice and neat. Do the same on the other side. Now at this point, we've got a really nice little triangle sort of shape here, but we need to add a nice smooth curve to join that line with the middle with over here. So in order to do that, grab your pattern drafting ruler again, keep your, <laughs> keep your point of your ruler up at the point of the Godet feature. And then I just simply want you to dot along every few centimeters, the length of your Godet. And this will act as a really nice little guide for you when you come to draw in your curve. You may be able to find a nice curve on your ruler, or you may just want to sort of join all those dots. Brilliant, so now we've got five pattern pieces for our Godet skirt. We've done all of our pattern pieces, and now we just need to trace over the, our pattern pieces to add our seam allowances so that we can actually stitch it all together.
tracing over our godet pattern piece, we've shown the grain line to follow the center of the, the godet from the point down. And then we've added a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to both sides of the godet. What this means is that those can both attach onto our skirt back piece uh, from here down to there. You need to add your hem length, whatever you've chosen to add for your skirt at this point as well. And the final thing that's really important to do is to make a note of the top of the godet. So at that point here. So you might want to just mark a nice clear cross so that you know exactly where the top of that godet is. And at that point, that's going to tie in with your notches that you've put here along the panel of your skirt and also at the side. You can then cut that pattern piece out. We'll now just add those seam allowances to our other pattern pieces, which is the skirt back to start off with. Add a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to the side. Add your seam allowance to your waist or however you've decided to draft your waist. Don't forget that we're gonna be doing a little mini series all about different types of waistbands after this. So that's why we've not shown you much detail on the waistbands for these skirts. We're just literally showing you the technique of how to add volume. And then you can choose which kind of parts you're going to add in and which parts you're gonna design for your own skirt. So you can like sort of pick and mix <laughs> from the whole series, which is quite fun. One of the most important things at this point is to make sure you add in a notch at the side seam and the panel to show where your godet is gonna start. So that's here and here. And for me, that's 30 centimeters from the knee line up. Don't forget to annotate your pattern pieces. So we've added a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance to the side seam and also to the panel seam. We've added our uh, waistband seam as well. We've drawn in our dart, we've located where the hip line is, and we've annotated the pattern piece to say where the grain line is, which will run parallel with our side seams. And then we're going, we've just labeled it to say, go day skirt, skirt back side, cut two. So you're gonna have that reflected over. Just repeat that whole process with your other panel of your skirt back. So we'll annotate this to say this piece is the godet skirt back center and we're just going to cut one on the fold. We've just added our seam allowance to the side seam so it can attach onto this piece and mark our, the point of our godet at this point here. And then we've just drawn around, removed, we've removed that dart uh, out of the pattern piece because it's incorporated into this point here so we've not drawn our dart there. Perfect. Let's cut that out now. We'll now just repeat that whole process for the skirt front panel pieces. For our skirt front pieces, we've annotated the whole of the pattern. We've shown where the hip line is. We've added our notches um, for our godet points, which are 30 centimeters from the knee. We've labeled where the side seam is. This is the skirt front side, and that's the skirt front center placing one of those, cutting one of those on the fold, cutting two of these. We've added our seam allowances to the side, of both pieces and to the top as well, like we did for our skirt back pieces. And once you've done that, you can just cut those pieces out. The first thing we need to do is to use our transfer paper and our tracing wheel to mark off where the dart is on the skirt back side. Next, we're just going to pin those darts in place, making sure that they're really nice and accurately pinned. So we're gonna get a great fit. Next, we're just gonna sew those darts together, starting at the top and working our way all the way down to the point at the bottom where we're just gonna sew it off and leave two strands of thread. Don't forget to start with a long stitch length or standard stitch length of 2.5 mil and then gradually drop that down to about 1.8, 1.6 mil as you hit the point of the dart at the bottom of it. And I'm using contrasting thread just so that you can see it really clearly in the video. 
Once you've done that, we want to press towards the side seam, which is the curved seam at this point here. We're going to start off by looking at the very front of the skirt. So go and grab your three skirt front pieces, which is your two side, two side pieces and your uh, center front as well. So there we go, center front. And our two side pieces. Now we can clearly see that this is a side seam on it. So if the right side is facing up, I'm going to pop that one to here and flip that over so our two side seams are at either end. Now there are a lot of different ways to insert a godet feature into a skirt. I'm just going to be demonstrating one of those for you today. You may well find if you play around with this technique, that you find a way that suits you better, that just gives you a better finish uh, for whatever reason. Um, this is your hobby, your project. Go off and enjoy it. It really doesn't matter which way you choose to do it. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the side seams together from the waist down to the godet hop notch here. I'm going to do that on one side and then we'll come back and address the other side afterwards. So I'll just pop that piece to one side. I'm going to flip that over and line it up here at the notch. Continue pinning all the way up to the waist. And now we're just gonna sew up our standard seam allowance all the way down from the waist down to the notch at this point here. When you hit your notch, just make sure you're reinforcing the end of the stitch line just to make sure that it's not gonna rip apart and just to straighten that really nicely. Excellent. So now we've sewn these uh, this seam together from the waist down to the notch. We now need to add in and insert the godet feature, which is this one here. So on my first godet, I've just drawn a line using a washable pen, uh, showing the seam allowance, the 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, all the way up to that point there. Now that was, that point there, is the equivalent of where this X was on our godet piece. So that marks exactly where this bit needs to tie in with the top or the bottom of our stitch line at this point on the skirt. So at this point, pop your skirt with the right side facing up towards you. Push one side away so that you can clearly see where that notch bit is there. And with right sides together, I'm just going to lay this feature piece on top of the skirt so right sides are together. Now what we want is for this bit here where the X is there to line up with our stitch line at this point. So we're going to very very carefully line that up so that it matches perfectly and then just continue pinning. This is actually just really nice uh, straight lines to be sewing so not too tricky at all. So I'm going to start sewing up here, up at the top. I'm going to be really careful, pointing my needle down exactly into the center of that X, reinforcing the stitches there a little bit, and then coming and sewing all the way down. Excellent, so now we've done that stitch line, we just need to attach the godet now to the other side. So flip it back over the other way and just line up that feature beautifully, starting at the top, up here. So we've got right sides together again and we're just lining up our seam allowance at this point here, making sure our point is nice and precise. Now then, at this point, you may find it easier to flip your fabric over and sew it from this side because there you can see the stitch line of your skirt and where it finishes. So that's your starting point for where you want to sew down here. Brilliant, so when you open it up, it should look something like that. A nice neat point up here and all that lovely flare happening in there. So at this point, it's a great idea to um, go and iron that in place. So I would recommend opening out those side seams, ironing them flat, and then ironing those ones towards the skirt pieces. So off you go and do some nice ironing. Now that's looking really nice. We've got a lovely, nice, neat, sharp point at this point up here. It's looking really good, but we may find that on the flip side, 
we've got just a little bit of tension here with this bit here. So we can just snip into that to remove some of the tension. And if you want to, you can just trim that seam allowance down a little bit too. I've shown you how to sew one go day, so now it's time for you to sew the rest of them. There are quite a few for this particular skirt, and by the end of sewing all these, you're going to be an absolute pro at um, sewing your go day features. So off you go, let's finish the front first. Excellent, we've got our two go day features sewn into our front skirt. And now at this point, we're just gonna repeat that whole process with the skirt back. For the back piece, I'm going to sew the three skirt panel pieces together down to the notches, just to speed up the process a little bit. Always good to kind of do batch seams when you're sewing. It helps you speed up your process rather than pinning one, sewing it, coming back, pinning the next one. Brilliant, look at that, it's looking so good. So that's the back that we've done now. Now that we've sewn the skirt front and the skirt back go day details, we now just want to sew those two um, pieces of the skirt together down the side seams. But we wanted to add volume all the way around the bottom of the skirt. So we've got two more go day features, one to add to each side. So to start off with, with right sides together, just want you to overlay the front over the back. And this will be our left side of our skirt, which we're going to want to leave slightly open just below the hip line so that we can attach a zip at that point. If you're not sure where your hip line is, just mark it on. Uh, bring your pattern piece back up again. You can mark it on there. So this left-hand side of the skirt, we're actually only going to sew a small little chunk, just um, <laughs> probably even only about an inch. If our hip line is there, we just want to start our stitch line about an inch or two below our hip line. So we're going to sew from there just down to where the notch is. And that's our left side. This is now going to be our right side of our skirt that we're just pinning together here. And we can just pin that all the way along from the waist, all the way down to the notch line. Once you've sewn those side seams, it's time to attach your go-day features to your side seams, just in the exact same manner you did it for in all the other locations. Once you've sewn all your go day features into your skirt, you then just need to finish off your uh, hemline, however you'd want to, however you've drafted that, uh, and then also finish off your waistband in whatever way you've chosen to draft that. For me, I've just done a 1.5 centimeter seam allowance at the top of my waistband. I'm just simply gonna roll that over and stitch it in place because this is just a little demo to show you how to do the go day features, which is the whole point of this little tutorial. So let's go and do that now. Okay, let's go try the skirt on and see what it actually looks like. I can't wait to see how it's all flowing and floating. Let's go. <laughs> and here is our go day skirt. This is looking really cute and just the way that it sort of hangs and sits is just really, really nice. The fit of it over the um, hips and then the flare down here just really adds that sort of extra volume. And you can imagine just seeing it here, how it would look if it was raised higher or lower, this particular feature, or if you added more in or made them wider and longer. However, <laughs> it would look amazing. So a huge well done for finishing your go day feature skirt. I hope you've really enjoyed watching this tutorial with me, that you've had loads of fun and that you've really understood those concepts of how to draft and create and sew 
those GoDay features. Now don't forget how amazing this feature would look in loads of different locations. If you raise it up or lower it down, if you put it into I know all sorts of different areas of a garment, it's really fun. Not tricky to sew, it's just quite precise sewing, uh, but it's not that difficult. As ever, thanks for joining me today. It's an absolute joy to film these for you. I hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, please do um, put your comments uh, in the comment section below the video. We'd love to hear from you, get your feedback. And also don't forget to create a free Minerva account uh, where you can upload any of your photos um, and do hashtag us and let us know what you've been doing if you're following the pattern drafting series. We always love to see what the maker community creates. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you soon. Thank you.